John here. Today I'm going to be doing a review on ballast stall. I actually uh, seen this on Hickok 45's channel. He recommends it. So I acquired some to try and I've used it one time. I've used it trying to clean the soot out of a Winchester Model 190. And as far as the cleaner goes, it's comparable to a uh, Hops Number no. Nine, a Rimmel, or a uh, Break Free, something like that. It's it's not a miracle cleaner, but it uh, you know it does work. But I had one problem with it: the smell. It smells horrible. I don't see how anybody uh, can get past the smell. I guess uh, the smell just doesn't compute with my nose for some reason. It kind of has a, uh, a smell similar maybe to bleach, not in a burning your nose sense, but that kind of after smell is similar. It, uh, it's horrible to me. Uh, as far as the cleaning goes, I didn't think it was a miracle cleaner like kind of the propaganda makes you believe it's going to be. Uh, you know, rim oil on the back of the can, you know, it talks about how great it is, but rim oil, ballastol, break free, ease ox, you know, none of it's a miracle cleaner. You know, you're still going to have to put a little bit of grease in cleaning your gun. You're not going to be able to spray the stuff on and then uh, the copper fallon just fall off the bore. But um, you know, if you can get past the smell, I say go for it. Seems like pretty decent stuff. Uh, supposedly it's uh, similar to WD-40 in the way it um, will displace water. It'll mix with water. It will condition leather. Let's see. Let's see what it'll do. Firearms, leather, wood, tools. Moraine. Uh, got a little pamphlet with it. Tells how to clean black powder with it, condition leather, and so on. So it, it'll do a lot of things. It'll do a lot more than, say, rim wool or uh, break free wheel as far as the versatility. But golly, I think it's most hard. So, if you can get past the smell, it's a good product. This is John, signing off.